In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix voice mod not working on your Windows computer. So if you're trying to apply voice changes and voice effects and it's not working, especially if you're using applications like Discord or other third party apps, then keep watching as in this video, I'm going to show you a few ways to go and solve this issue. Now, the first thing you need to do is just go and open up the voice mod application. And of course, you need to make sure you have some kind of voice changer or some kind of sound effect selected. So let's say I wanted to add this effect here. I can simply click on it and you can see now it's been added to my microphone and you can go and test what this sound effect sounds like by clicking the test button. Now, if you come over to the right hand side, make sure the voice volume is turned up here. Make sure the pitch is also turned up to at least half. And then what you're going to do is click on settings in the left hand side. Make sure your input is set to your default microphone on your computer. So for me, that's going to be my Yeti stereo microphone. And you should be able to see these levels change as you speak into your mic. And this basically indicates that it is working. Next to the output, this is where you want to select either your speakers or your headphones. So this is where you want your sound playing out from. And once you've done that, you can then minimize out of the voice mod application. So if you're having issues with third party applications such as Discord, then what you can do to fix this is just go and open up the Discord app and this will work with other applications as well. I'm just going to use Discord as an example. So once you're in Discord, click on user settings in the bottom left hand side, scroll all the way down on the left and click on voice and video next to input device click on the drop down arrow and you need to ensure that your voice mod here is enabled and as long as you have voice mod checked here then when you go in apply voice mod filters this should automatically be played through the discord app so you can see at the bottom here it says connected to discord so basically anything we do now in voice mod is going to be applied over into Discord. Now, if you're having the opposite issue and you want to stop using your voice mod over in Discord, then you can always change your input device back to your default microphone. So mine's this one at the bottom down here. And that's just going to use your default microphone without any of the voice mod sound effects. Now, if it's still not working, then come down to your taskbar and right click on your volume icon, click on sound settings. And next to output, go and select once again your speakers or your headphones, then scroll down to input. And this is where you need to go and select your voice mod. Now, by selecting voice mod here, it means that whatever application you're using is going to use these sound effects. So if you just want voice mod applied for specific applications, then you probably want to actually change this to your default microphone. And that way, the sound effects will only be applied when we set it in that specific application. Now, if you have tried all of these steps and it's still not working, the last solution is just to open up your start menu, go and search for settings and click on the settings window. In the left hand side, click on apps, click on installed apps, and then just locate voice mod from your list of applications. You can always use the search box to go and search for it. Click on the three horizontal dots next to it and click on uninstall. Click on uninstall once again, and then you'll just need to wait while that goes and deletes from your computer. If you get this message pop up, press yes. Now, once it's finished uninstalling, you can just open back up an internet browser and type in voice mod install. Click on the official voice mod website and you can try and re-download and reinstall voice mod to your computer. And it's really as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you with the next one.